says first of all let supplication prayers and giving of thanks be made for all sins to the kings and to those in authority so we want to pray for the church of god let's lift up our voice this hour and tell god father let your righteousness reign in your church your church in nigeria your church all over the world let your righteousness reign in the life of your children open your mouth and begin to pray that the righteousness of god will reign in his church that the righteousness of God will reign in our lives, in our hearts. That God will teach us the true righteousness of God. The true righteousness that leads to the kingdom of God, to the kingdom of heaven. Open your mouth and begin to pray. He said, let supplication be made for all sins. We are praying for the sins. We are praying for the judge. That the righteousness of God will reign, will rule over the lives of the church members, over the lives of the children of God. All over the world, open your mouth and pray. Talk to God. Father, let your righteousness reign in our lives. Let your righteousness reign in your church. Let your righteousness reign in the heart of the saints, both in Nigeria and globally. Father, teach us your true righteousness. Teach us, Lord, your true righteousness. Teach us to live and to walk in the true righteousness of God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Also, let us pray for Nigeria, that the righteousness of God will reign in Nigeria, in the heart of Nigerians, that God's intervention will be made manifest in this very country, that things will be put right, that those in authority, that those that God is aspiring to put in our places of authority, that the fear of God will be in their life, that God will appoint men like David, men after his own heart. Let's open our mouth and begin to pray for Nigeria. Nigeria is our own Jerusalem. The Bible says we should pray for those in authority, for kings, those in authority. Let's pray for Nigeria. Father, let your righteousness reign in Nigeria. Reign in the heart of Nigerians. Tell him, Father, sin is on the increase every day. Iniquity is on the increase every day. Father, let righteousness overthrow evil, overthrow sin, overthrow wickedness in Nigeria, in the heart of Nigerians. Father, put on the throne men after your heart. Men, oh God, that have compassion. Men that will rule and lead with the fear of the Lord. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Pray for Nigeria. Pray for God's intervention in this very country. Pray for God's intervention in the heart of our leaders and in the heart of fellow Nigerians in this very country. Open your mouth and pray. Make that very prayer that God will intervene, that God will rule, that God will reign in his power, by his spirit in Nigeria and in the heart of Nigerians. Thank you, everlasting Father. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' name we have prayed. We also want to pray for church leaders, religious leaders, that God will give our leaders the heart, O oh God, of a shepherd. That God will encourage our leaders, our church leaders, God will encourage their hearts to journey on in the midst of all disappointments, in the midst of failures, in the midst of all the tumors that they are passing through, that God will encourage their hearts to journey on. That God will give them the strength and the, the courage. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Pray for church leaders. Pray for religious leaders. Pray for Christian leaders in this very country. Lord, uphold them. Lord, strengthen them. Lord, give them the grace. Encourage their soul to journey on. Father, give them the grace, the more grace, the abundance 
that grace that they needed amidst all disappointments, amidst all failures, that God will uphold them, that, oh God, your grace will not fail them, but rather your grace will uphold them. Your grace, oh God, will keep them going from day to day, week to week, month to month, and year to year. Open your mouth and begin to pray. When I mean church leaders, pray for all the church leaders, our pastors, our GOs, our church founders, our church leaders, the religious fathers, we are talking about Christian religious leaders. That the Lord will help and uphold them in this very country. That Christianity is facing a great deal of persecution. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Pray for your leaders. Pray our, for our leaders. Great disappointment day by day. Great persecution day by day. Pray for our church leaders. Pray for our general overseers. Pray for them. Pray for them that they will be encouraged in the Lord. Amidst all the trials and temptations that the church is passing through today, that Christianity is passing through today, that the Lord will encourage their soul to journey on. Thank you, Father Lord. In Jesus' name we have prayed. And finally, let us pray for our own leader in this very place. Our own pastor, our own general overseer. Pray that grace of God will increase in his life. Pray that the mercy of the Lord will speak for him day by day. Pray that the Lord will increase him and anoint him the more. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Open your mouth and begin to pray. For our general overseer here, pray for him, pray for him, pray for him. Pray that God will give him the more grace that he needed. The more grace, the much more grace that he needed to continue with the work in this very place. To pioneer the church. Pray that God will continue to increase him with more anointing. Pray that the mercy of the Lord will continue to speak for him. Pray that the protection of the Lord will be around about him and his family. Pray that God will make him an overcomer amidst all trials and temptation. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Ask for more grace. Great grace. Yes. Pray and ask for more mercy. The sure mercies of David to locate him, to be upon him in his everyday Christian life. That the Lord will uphold him. That the Lord will strengthen him. That the Lord will encourage him. That the Lord will lift him more higher and higher. Open your mouth and pray for him. Open your mouth and pray for him. Open your mouth and pray for him. That he will sing a song of victory at the end. That the Lord will uphold him to continue to pioneer his church. To lead his people. It is not really easy to lead a people. To lead the people of God. Pray that God will give him that grace and that very courage. Thank you everlasting father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Thank you. God bless you. You may be seated. And we want to ask, is there anyone fellowshipping with us for the first time today? Please, can you just signify by raising your hand? God bless you wherever you are. Please, you can are you just stand on your feet? in the name of the Lord. You are welcome. Of the Lord, we can see all over you that glory of the Lord. You welcome me in the name of the Lord. On behalf of the church, we welcome you to Unquenchable Fire Christian Assembly this morning. We appreciate God for His grace that brought you here this morning. And we pray that that grace will take you home in victory in the name of Jesus. Please, the forms that have been given to you, when you fill it, before you leave here, please give it back to the ushers. And before you leave here this morning, we want to see you briefly, immediately after the service, just in the front seat here, to bring to you our senior pastor's greeting. Thank you. God bless you for coming. We do have weekly activities here, within every week. Every Sunday, we have a worship service like today that begins exactly at 8 a.m. in the morning. What we encourage ourselves is to try to come up on time. Our bread of life starts exactly 8 a.m. And it's a pity most of us don't take part in the bread of life. When we were in the church in those days, they used to tell us that if you miss out from the Sunday school, you have missed out from the Sunday service. Because the bread of life, known as the Sunday school, that is where they teach us things that will help us to grow and mature as believers. So when we miss Sunday school, 
actually we have mixed 90% of the blessing for that very Sunday. So we are encouraged to always be a part of the Sunday school every Sunday. Then on Wednesdays, by 7 a.m. in this very commission, we do have a pure deliverance program, a liberation program here. So we encourage us also to come. We do experience lateness even on that same Wednesday. So please, every Wednesday, we ask you to come, even with friends, with neighbors and relations, to this interdenominational deliverance or liberation service. Come, and the Lord will meet you at the point of your need. The time is 7 a.m. in the morning. Every Friday here, we have mass deliverance in this very place. You have need of mass deliverance, or there is somebody you know you can introduce. The time here is between the hours of 9 to 10 a.m. Come, and you will be a part of that very program. And also, you will have opportunity to meet the servant of God one-on-one -on -one for any matter that may be properly brought before him. So please, you are invited here on Wednesday. Whether business career, education career, health, whatever area you needed deliverance, please Every Friday in this very commission, you are welcome. Or you can invite somebody to come. Every uh, second Friday of the month is the church night vigil. The time is 11 p.m. So please, we invite you every second Friday. The church holds her night vigil in this very place. You and your friends are welcome. We have what we call begin with me on every first day of every new month. We try to begin the new month with the Lord. Equally, the Lord beginning a new month with us. The time is 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. It favors everybody, even those that are going to work. You can prepare from your house, pass through this very place, begin the day or the month with the Lord, and from here, you head to your place of work or your place of service. As you do that, be blessed in Jesus' name. Other special announcements. The women are to meet immediately after the service. Please, the women, you are told to wait immediately after the service. There are two special programs coming up in this very church. One is this very coming Wednesday, this very week Wednesday. We have it on the screen all through there. You can read. Please, you are invited. Friends, relations, families, the children, everybody is expected to be a part of that very program. The handbill is still available for publicity. Everybody is expected to attend this special Wednesday program with our families and friends. Please, it is a must that you should attend it. The time is 7 a.m. in the morning. So all workers and members are to engage in the publicity from today. Call your friends to attend this program. Also, all workers are to wait briefly to see the senior pastor immediately after the service today at the choir stand immediately after the service. All the workers, please, wait at the choir stand. And all vet members, including all the men executives, as to, to see the senior pastor after the service also in his office. This is compulsory. The children program holds on Sunday, the 28th of May, 2023. Therefore, after the service, all members must wait to contribute to the needs of the children program. Mass deliverance and counseling host compulsory this Friday, as I have announced with Pastor Felix. Time is 10 a.m. Invite people to attend the mass deliverance. Then we have the second program, a dry fasting program that we hold here from Wednesday, the 31st of May, 2023, to the 4th of June, 2023. Please plan to attend this breakthrough program. The handbill is also available. Everybody is requested to join in the publicity of this coming fasting program. Please be informed that it is a retreat program. So take permission and the plan to attend. Thank you for listening. Every other announcement that may have been omitted will be made known to us in due course. Thank you and God bless you. And right away we have our sister that has a testimony to give. Our sister that has a testimony. So please, we call on our sister Akabeze to quickly come and share her testimony. Praise Master Jesus. Praise the living God. 
By God's grace, my name is Sister Ikeri Akabez, the member of Open Chapel Fire Christian Assembly. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I have the two testimonies to give right now. What the Lord has done in my life, in my family, because the enemy raised up to do something. In the month of May, precisely between around middle of April, my our daddy in the Lord called me. I come to his office. He said, hey, Mama, pray. Mama, pray. But you need to do a thanksgiving to shut up, up to shut up the enemy mouth. What the enemy wants to do, that you need to close it. I say, sir. I had I said I had in my left. I was checking my pocket. I don't know what to give to God that will be anything and I don't want to just do it anyhow. As that after that, it's like I was feeling somehow I was just managing myself. On the, on on the first I said, I stand giving, general thanksgiving that I will give it later. later. On that first, after that uh, service, I was, I went home, started the program. The thing told me, said, you would sleep in water for five days. I said, uh -uh. me sleeping in water for five days. I do the night vigil now, and the evening goes to night church. I was like, okay, obedience is better than sacrifice. I start, when it's around 11, I will come, I will enter church. I will lie down in the altar. I didn't tell anybody. It's only those that are in the church knows that I come to church to sleep in the altar. The day we'll have a VJ for everybody, some of us will be around. After that, I will go to the altar and lie down. Then Friday, we'll have workout VJ. After that, I went to the altar and lie down. After I got up, I said, I got up. He said, you're doing the Thanksgiving on Sunday. I said, yes. I went straight to the, uh, the pastor. I said, Daddy, I want to do Thanksgiving on Sunday. He said, tomorrow. I said, yes. I left. As on that Sunday, that Saturday, I try as God provided, get a little thing to do the Thanksgiving. When I come down until that Saturday night, I was I was too strong. Let me to, not to say I'm weak. After that, on Sunday, I was dancing that Sunday, but I I was just trying to put the enemy to shame. That dancing I was dancing. When I went to that rain that was falling that Sunday night upon that thing, I could not walk. I have to crawl into my bedroom. I open tap on my head. The top was rushing on my head as that rain was falling. I was like, God, what do I do? I could not tell anybody. I told my doctors, they were like, oh yeah, start running test. All the tests that we are running was coming out negative. See, that's not that one of my doctors that is in Abuja that have Lagos, left Lagos that put her, called, mom, is it money that is the problem? Let me send money to your account. I said, money is not a problem. He started sending money to my account for running test. I said, God, I'm in your hand. That Sunday night, Monday morning, I was managing myself. I took, when it gets to around 9:10, it's like I got myself a bit. Nobody kn around me knows something is ha happening. I could not speak. I could not even call my children to tell them. I kept quiet. On Sunday evening, I supposed to come to vigil on um, Monday night. That's the same Sunday. They told me you're still going for three days. Monday, Tuesday, uh, one day you're going to pray. I say, hey, I just finished another one. I say, okay, another miracle. I just, I was encouraging myself because I cannot, I did not share it with anybody. That Monday evening, it was like, I'll give up. I, I got my nose, I said, I told the doctor, the doctor said, what and what will we do now? They get drugs, change the drug, I'm using another drug. Meanwhile, we are not getting anything. I said, okay. Uh, after that, on Tuesday, is becoming worse. The people that saw me Tuesday morning between two, three wouldn't know that I was just managing because I'm the type of person I can package myself very well. You will not know that something is wrong with me. Between around three, it's like I just had, if you stay here now, the next five minutes you will not move. I just packed my things, left my office to the house. As I enter house, everything changed, become worse. My body is like, if you know how chef is, is chopping onions, if you see how chef, you know how chef, when they are cooking, the way they chop onions, that was all how my body was chopping. They were like, it was vibrating. Phone was jumping out, I could not control, I cannot get myself. My dog, everybody, everybody was running head scatter, I could not talk. It got a stage, I just put my two hands in my back like this and pulled down. One of my nurses thought that I was sleeping, he was not. It is until they look at what, if there is any medical practitioner here, 
qualified we know what i'm talking about when they look at the spo2 they discover my spo2 is below 50. and when your spo2 is below 50 your your your, your heart is shutting you're going and in me i know i was going i know quite all right i was going my two hands are my, is at my neck when i bend but it got a stage when i know i was going i raised my hand over there where i am i just stay god if I, a lot of people is under my umbrella. If you let me go, a lot of people will be stranded. But if it's your, your, your will, let it happen. I kept quiet. I didn't know that people is around me anymore. As after that prayer, it's like my, my, but inside me, I keep on saying, asking for mercy, mercy, mercy. After that, it's like I got a steady bit. That is when I look phone. I said them phone. Because I was not open. I could not get up. If I want to get up to your net, people have to help me. Hold me to the bedroom. Hold me. I will net. They bring me back to, bed, to my bedroom. As I was able to that time to come back a bit, I just asked them, put my phone in my, my ear. Call my pastor. I called daddy. He picked already. Immediately he said, mama. I said, daddy, I am dying. Since Monday, I am dying. He said, you kept quiet. You did not talk. No wonder I sent you a message. You did not reply. Cut off, I'll call you back. He called back. He prayed. There is power. Power pass power. Power pass power. And grace pass grace. The God of Open Temple Fire Christian Assembly, God of Pastor Felix Mwabeke, he never changed. He see the same God yesterday, today, and forever. When he opened his mouth, he said, Go. Don't, he don't need to argue it. He don't need to argue him. See, familiarity is causing problem in this church. Mostly for we members, familiarity is killing us. When he tell me, Mama, don't worry, you'll be fine. That settles the matter. Before you know it. Actually, I didn't know when he called some people to come and see me. I didn't know when those ones enter my room. I only discover I had a voice. Ah, Mama, what is it? And somebody said, Mama, your body is too hot. I now discover there are people in my room. As God will have it, after that is prayer, I begin to recover myself. Praise the Lord. I, I come back fully to life that I'm living today and standing with you people. As I'm saying it, it's like a story. It's like, and let me say that, eh, hey, you escape, I will deal with you. On one next day, I have some things to do in the bank. And I have something to send to my first son so that he can print I managed to call one of my son. I said, that by one day I could not, if I hold this microphone, it will fall. My hand, my, all my body was vibrating. That one come to pick me. He said, mommy, he was afraid. I said, don't be afraid. We will go. We will go, come back. After that one is, after I sent these things to my son, he sent me that he had received it. I said, okay. For me replying to him again to know whether he has printed out or not, his numbers went off. He's somebody that's very, very active in WhatsApp. His WhatsApp number went off. Nothing. I tried, 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 tried. As he's coming to between four or five. I, 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 I say a call on my phone. I don't reject call. I pick any call that comes for my phone. I pick the call. He said, Mommy, when am I talk to my wife so that he will not panic? I said, Okay, what happened? He said, Mommy, I'm kidnapped. I say, Kidnap? Where? He said, Mommy, I'm kidnapped. I said, Don't worry. Holy Ghost is in, in, on throne. As I said, don't worry, Holy Ghost is on throne. You know, when your, somebody is talking to you, they, they call a phone from him. You will know they call a phone. I just kept quiet. All the people with me around six, seven, eight never knew that fire was burning on my head. I, I hold it alone. I, I could not pray. I'm too strong. I was just praising God and believing God. When it gets to 12 midnight, I call our daddy again. By five minutes after 12 midnight, I said, Daddy, my son is kidnapped. He said, eh, kidnapped? I said, yes. He said, Mama, don't worry. You will come back. Don't worry. I said, okay. He said, sleep. Don't worry. Don't worry. Relax. Mama, relax. I said, okay. Meanwhile, my daughter-in-law was bombarding me with calls. Because I tell her, I said, don't worry. The only thing I was telling my daughter-in-law, where your husband is, is coded. There is no network. There is no network where he is. He said, Mommy, the WhatsApp number is not going. I said, Don't worry, sleep. 
his, ne his ne uh, network where he is is coded. I was, I don't know what to do, but I believe God is on the throne. So when my son, early in the morning, around six something, around six, my phone ring. It was my, my daughter-in-law. When I saw his, her name, I was thinking another thing I would talk to tell her so that she would not, she would calm down. Behold, I had my, my daughter, my son's voice. <laughs> he said, mommy, I'm back. I said, how did you go? Hallelujah. I said, how did you go? He said, mommy, after you talked to me then, they stopped me on the road, come out like Amis. And of course, I, I, I stayed in my car. I don't want to open car. Let her uh, open car. I said, mommy, you see how the flag, they fling me from my car. My son is tall and huge. He said, mommy, I didn't know how they throw me inside the other car. <laughs> they beat hell out of me. If you see him today, his eyes is like this. But I said, Father, you are good. I was, I was, I didn't know what to do. Immediately, he, told, he, called, he called me and told me, I called Pastor Felix immediately. I said, my son is back. He said, anything. I said, they collect his car, they collect everything. But one joy with me is that, he said, mommy, when they collect phone, when they throw me and carry me to somewhere, they put us somewhere. It's not only him, they kidnapped. He said, there is a, a boy he made there. He now talked to the boy. He said, the boy, ah. He didn't know where they are going, no. That only God knows. The boy now looked at him. He said, but if you believe in the God of my mother, if you believe in God of my mother, I know I will come out. And you will come out. He said, after the nun came there, and pick him and that particular boy, boy you talked to. And bring them out. Others remain there. As, as he came out, he said, where then dropped him, he doesn't know the place. So luckily that early morning, he saw a woman. The woman is going to market. He rushed to the woman. He said, Mama, they kidnapped him. They just dropped us. I don't know where I am. The woman said, you don't know where you are. He said, yes. The woman said, oh, yeah, wait. And I told him where he was. Now I said, do you know where you're coming from? He said, he didn't even know where he came to this place. The woman said, but did you know where, if I say, if you are going now, do you know where to go? He said, this is the place I'm going. He said, ah, it's very foul. So it's that woman that helped him with transfer and everything to go back to where my, my son lives in nowhere. And where he's talking about, he said, before they drop them where they drop them, they drive more than three hours. They drop them at our mama. So you will know where they are coming from to end up in our mama to drive three hours if you are Eastern part coming. I want to stand here to, do, to say that the God of us of is one became. The God of Okwetabu Fire Christian Assembly. Amen. The God that never fell remain the same. Abumonye ine jeremo. Shall we rise up and uh, key into the very testimony? Ine jeremo chukwama. Onye yone kame ine jeremo. Let us key into this testimony. Abumonye. That's the mighty hand of God's deliverance. The mighty hand of God's deliverance. Thank you, Lord. to say that the God who has done this we continue to reign in his faithfulness and the same miracle shall be meted back to each and every one of us in the name of Jesus the choir hallelujah the Bible said in the presence of God there is goodness of God and there is mercy we are about to sing a song meaning God is thinking about us. 
even when we are we, when we are told where we thought that we are frustrated god is thinking about us hallelujah
Somebody shout hallelujah. If you are here, shout a loud hallelujah. God will not fall our hands in Jesus' name. How many of you are saying that amen? Say with a louder voice. God will not fall your hands. You know what the, 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 the choirs are saying? That God is always thinking about us. Every time. So, in that situation where you are, you are not alone. It's always thinking about you. It's always remembering you. It's always providing solution. And he will not fall us, he will not fail our hands, he will not disappoint us in Jesus' name. Let me hear your amen, 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 amen. Let me hear your loudest amen. All right, take your seat. Now, I want to remind you something. Please listen to me. If, if you are sick, I don't know whether you learn something from that testimony. Forget about Pastor Felix prayed. Forget about that. That was a statement our mama made. I don't know. Maybe I'm the only person that catch that statement. I don't know who can remind me who who can tell me what there's a statement i captured who can tell me stand up i don't want too much if you know you stand up and tell me there was a statement she made yes my sister sister of a familiarity okay no which one the same thing no any other person yes he kept it to herself no eh he said what? Grace. Break. She prayed. No. Yes, Pastor. Uh, okay, thank you. Not that. Go clap hand for her. If you are listening to testimony, you don't just forget about this one pray, that one pray. Can you make that statement? God, don't take my life because there are a lot of people under my coverage. Can you? Can you? You get and swallow alone. He said, God, for the sake of people under my caring, please. And for that woman, the reason she's alive today is not because of, it's just because of people that God has put under her life. I'm telling you the truth. I know her to wear. It's not because she's here. Can you, can you, looking at me, can you come to the point of dying and say, God, please don't take my life. If I die, a lot of people will suffer. Can you? Take away your children. All we do is my family, my children, my children, my this one, 
my this one can you even at the point of death say god for the sake of these ones that i'm taking care of that i'm feeding that i'm always always and you know it, 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 it no but it's not everybody that can make such a statement and god answered it's not we prayed we prayed but there are some things you tell God, and those are truth. And God's no, God knows them. And God will, because of that, spare your life. So that the people he have given to you to take care of, that are not even your children alone, they will spare your life. I pray for you, I pray for myself, that such understanding and such grace will fall upon each and every one of us in Jesus' name. That will begin to look at, above our family, and look at those who really need our help who are dying and suffering who can't feed themselves put smile in their mouth put smile put smile put smile put smile spare just look at them and say i love you take somebody is hungry say close your eyes let us pray and we pray god almighty provide as he goes, provide. And the person is not saying amen. It happens, say amen now. He cannot say amen. Because you have the provision in your pocket. May the Lord help us in Jesus' name. I want you to say louder, amen. amen. Today, may the God of grace speak on your behalf. Provide for you. So that you will be a blessing to other people as well in Jesus' name. How many of us want to be a blessing to people? As you are shaking that hand, raising up heaven is seeing you, the Lord will bless you and you'll become a blessing to others in Jesus' name. Amen. Say it louder, amen. amen. Now, before I preach my message very briefly and pray for you, we just discovered that we we'll call ourselves a church, which we are. And many of us don't even know that we're existing in the, on, on the Facebook, on TikTok, and YouTube. So please, we want you to boost the YouTube there. We have YouTube, we have TikTok, we have Facebook. Now, this is a fire. Let me start with uh, TikTok. You go to your app on your phone. You download the TikTok, then you search unquenchable fire. Underscore fire, just like as it is there at unquenchable. When you download your TikTok, our messages are there, my prophetic releases are there. All this one you are going here. I don't say don't go to any other church, I don't say don't carry, don't look. They are there. Invite your friends there because as we open it and there, we just have few people there. It's not helping us, it's not going to keep us there. So many big churches are making money from there. We're not even talking of the money, at least to spread the gospel. So you go to your, your app, you search, you open TikTok, the way it's open, now search at unquenchable underscore fire. You will see our logo there, you see our messages there. Now, when you have done that, invite your friends. Invite your family, friends, they are add your friends, they'll be watching the messages and they will get involved and then they'll be spreading it. And then you go to our YouTube, the same thing. When you open YouTube, you look at the app of the YouTube, search for UFCA Church. On question is brief, just like you see there. UFCA Church. UFCA Assembly. The first one is our Facebook, Felix Mwabike, that's our Facebook. Enter it, invite your friends. I'm about to preach now. The message is there. Log in there. Tag your friends. Tag your, your family to listen to the message. Then, UFCA Church, that is our YouTube. And the other one there is our Instagram, UFCA underscore assembly. That's our um, Instagram. Then the last one there is our TikTok, unquenchable underscore fire. So get involved. Take our handbills there, test them there, 
Listen to messages there. Listen to prophetic release there. It's there. Everything is there. You can't have phone and you belong to a church and you're not participating. You're not a worker. You're, you're a member. You're a worker. The evidence is not there. You're a member. The evidence is not there. You're using your phone for things that are not relevant. And then all we see is you just stumble from one church to another. You know, listen to, listen to this one too. Add this one to the ones you have. And the Lord will bless you. Jesus name. I didn't hear your woman. How many of you have phone here? Let's raise up your hand. I have phone. I have phone, 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 phone. I, I'm not seeing your hand. You don't have phone, sir. Is your hand not working? If you have phone, raise up your hand. Okay, you have a palace, is it? And your God will provide for you. You buy Android phone. You have phone. Let me see your hand. I have phone. Okay, I have Android phone. Android phone. Let me see the hand now. Is your sister Glory? Is your hand something wrong with your hand? Lift it up now. Those not seem like no girl phone. I have phone. Let me see your hand. Android phone. I'm not seeing your hand now. Even the youth. So we have a lot. Connect people. And the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Say me now. That's how we pray for you. You are looking at me. Don't look at me. Look at Jesus. Tell somebody look at Jesus. Tell somebody look at Jesus. Shout a louder. Amen. Close your eyes where you are. Tell God said to be. Bless me. Open your mouth and pray for yourself there. Where you are, just say, God, bless me today. God bless me today. Make sure you pray. Don't, don't be joking. Those students there, those youth, those children, youth, all shall go there. They are, look at them, they are playing. Those small children, I don't know what they are doing. Look at those small children. Look at them. Are, are they students? Are they students? Jesus mighty name we pray Father we thank you bless us today and help us to agree with your spirit and agree with your word that what you are about to do in our lives that no demon no devil will stop it in Jesus name thank you father in Jesus mighty name I pray somebody shout welcome Jesus somebody shout welcome Holy Spirit are blessed. I came this morning with a message. It's a message of hope and it's a message of assurance from the Lord. And I want you to listen, not just listen, do exactly and believe what the Lord is saying. Please, anywhere you're hearing me from, sit down, listen. Don't be carried away. Don't be walking up and down for no reason. God gave me a message to give to you because the Lord said we have waited and we are still waiting we have believed and we are still believing now the almighty God said something is coming our way and by the grace of God you will be alive to receive that thing in Jesus name say that to me like a believer what am I preaching today what the Lord give me to tell you change is coming look at somebody say change is coming be serious about look as I say change is coming tell that person my change is coming by the grace of God you will be alive to see that change in your life in your family in the name of Jesus our change is coming assuredly as you expect as you believe that change will meet you and you locate you in the name of jesus christ in job chapter 14 in verse number 14 change is coming job 14 verse 14 it says if a man die shall he live again all the days of my appointed time will i wait until my what happened Help me say until what happened? 
until my change come look at your neighbor look at your neighbor tell your neighbor you will not die before your change will come you are not serious look at some look at look, don't look at people who already condemn themselves look at somebody say i'm talking to you you will not die before your change will come look at the number and say i'm talking to you you will not die before your change will come job said here all the days of my life if a man die he, he, he said, when you die before your change when you die you say you're waving and you're, the change didn't come and yet you die please please stand up please stand up i'm serious now those of you carrying children the children are giving you a permanent say stand up go to tell people tell them you will not die before your change will come if somebody start one place don't, don't don't listen to that person tell that person you will not die before your chain will come you will not die before your chain will come some people never serious they will not move they are just in one place and they're not talking talk to somebody talk to somebody you will not die before your chain will come you will not die before your chain will come please to three people tell them you will not die before the arrival of your change in jesus name you will not die in jesus name you will not die look at your own self say myself i will not die before my dream comes sit down job chapter 14 verse 14 please sit down it says there if a man die shall he live again listen to me listen to me please don't be a preacher while somebody preaching here all the days of my appointed time i want you to listen to something the worst thing that can happen to a man or a woman is not death please hear me but the worst thing that can happen to a man or a woman is to die without a change of story it's not just i die job said there if a man die and still waiting he was waiting and still died dying is not a problem but when you die without a change of story you die in poverty you die wretched you die no marriage you die no child you die nothing that is the worst thing but i'm praying for you you will not die before your change can somebody help me say you will not die before your change I say you will not die before your change. I say you will not die before your change of story. You will not die before your change of story. You will not die before your change of story. In the name of Jesus. Hear me. The worst thing that could have happened to Job was not that he was afflicted. No. The worst thing that could have happened to Job was not that he suffered but the worst thing that could have happened to job should have been that he suffered and suffered and died without a change but glory be to god job did, was not just afflicted alone he was he didn't just suffer alone in the process of affliction and suffering his change came i'm praying for somebody here in the process of your suffering and waiting and afflicted may your change come in a hurry in the name of jesus may your change arrive in the name of jesus say that amen with confidence in god child of god hear me it is okay to suffer but it is not okay to die without a change it's not okay to die without a change of story it's okay to live in one room it's okay to suffer for long it's okay to wait but it's not okay to die in your affliction without a change without a story without a positive change and i'm praying for you today that arrow of death looking for you despite your suffering that arrow of death looking for your children despite your suffering i command that arrow to return back to sender Jesus, I told you it is okay to suffer, but 
was not okay to die in that suffering. In First Peter chapter five, in verse number ten, for Peter chapter five, in verse number ten, it says there, but the God of all grace who are called us unto his eternal glory by Christ Jesus after that you have suffered a while after that you have suffered a little after go through some things a while make you perfect establish you strengthen you and do what? I thought you are following me and do what? and do what? touch somebody tell them they should wake up It's okay to suffer. It's okay to go through some things in life. But it's not okay for you to die without seeing the result. Look at what the Bible says here. Please follow me. But the God of all grace, even God knows, even Jesus suffer, I will show you. The God of all grace who has called us, us, not just us, unto his eternal glory by Christ Jesus. After that you have the word. After that you have done what church? A while. A little. Make you perfect. May the Lord make your life perfect. I'm talking to somebody here. May the Lord make your life perfect. May the Lord make your head perfect. May the Lord make your marriage perfect. May the Lord make your children perfect. May the Lord make your business perfect. He said establish you. He said strengthen you. And then what does he say? He said do what? Settle you. Those of you that need settlement. If you wave your hand to heaven. Receive your settlement. Receive your settlement. Receive your settlement. Receive your settlement. Follow me today. Change is coming. Look at somebody say change is coming. I didn't come to play. I say change is coming. I saw it clearly. Forget about what you have suffered in the past. Forget about what the church is going through now. Forget about what your business is doing now. Forget about what your money is raising now. Look at somebody and say change is coming. I don't hear you tell them that change is coming. My life is going to be changed. My marriage is going to receive change. My health is going to receive change. My finance will receive change. If you are there, shout a louder amen. amen. Change is coming. Amen. We are read to you. The Lord says, after you have gone through some challenges in life, that He Almighty will settle you. Amen. We'll settle you. Amen. We'll settle you. Amen. We'll settle you. Amen. It means after suffering comes settlement. That thing you are going to that marriage, change is coming. Amen. Who am I talking to? I'm here, sir. That thing you are going through your head, change is coming. Amen. That thing that is suffering your profession, change is coming. Amen. The Lord said, after you have suffered a while. Yes. He will perfect your life. Amen. He will establish you. Amen. He will strengthen you. Amen. And he will not do what? Settle yes. you. Lift up your hand. That hand that he lifted, yes. receive a settlement. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Receive your own settlement. Amen. Receive your own settlement. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Hear me clearly. I stand here by the authority of his name. Yes. And I came to tell you overnight, over time, yes. change is coming. Amen. I saw you change is coming. Amen. I saw you change is coming. Amen. You will be alive to see that change. Amen. You will be alive to see your children change. Amen. You will be alive to see your family change. Amen. If you are saying amen, say with confidence. Amen. Change is coming. Amen. Change is coming. Amen. That your marital issue. Change is coming. Amen. That your health challenges. Change is coming. Amen. That your business challenges. 
settlement is coming. Amen. Somebody there that is listening to me, shout, change is coming. Change is coming. That hardship will not continue. Amen. That begging to survive will not continue. Amen. That sickness that want to terminate your life will not continue. Hey, Look at somebody say, my change is coming. My change is coming. In First Corinthians chapter 15, in verse 51. First Corinthians chapter 15, in verse 51. It says, Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. Change is coming your way. Amen. I don't know who I'm talking. I said change is coming your way. Amen. It is not just until you die as a believer and then you say, I will see change and resurrection. No, please hear me. Even before you leave this world, your change, your story must happen. Amen. I say your change, your story must happen. Amen. Before you die, before you go to glory, your change, your story will happen. Amen. If you are the one I'm talking to, say louder, amen. Amen. Can I pray for somebody here? Yes, you will not die in that poverty. Amen. You will not leave this world as a child of God without your blessing. Amen. You are changing your story to glory to glory is coming back. Amen. Your story is coming back. That negative story of your marriage will change. Amen. That bad story of your business will change. Amen. That profession that is not working will change. Amen. Somebody shout, my change is coming. Change is coming. Glory. Change is coming. Hallelujah. Whether the devil like it or not. Amen. Over this ministry, change is coming. Amen. Clearly, clearly, in a clear voice, ah. change is coming. Amen. Change is coming. Amen. I say, change is coming. Amen. Over your career, change Amen. is coming. Amen. Over your situation, change is coming. Amen. They may laugh at you today. Ah. They may mock at you today. Jesus. They may ridicule you today. Yeah. They may call you nobody today. Hey. But I stand here to tell you, uh -huh. if you believe, change is coming. Change is Change is coming. Amen. Job 14, go back there. In verse 14 again. Job 14, 14. Here there is Job 14, 14. Job 14, 14. I don't know who is there. Whether they are sleeping, be careful with yourself there. Job 14, 14. If a man die, you will not die. Amen. I don't know who I'm talking to. Mercy mothers I'm talking to you will not die. Amen. That baby you are carrying. You will see the change in love of that baby. Amen. If a man die, you will not die. Amen. He will not die before you are pointed to him. Amen. He will not die. Amen. Yeah, be me. There's always an appointed time. Amen. Don't be in a hurry. Yes, sir. Knock yourself. Knock yourself. There's always an appointed time. There's always an appointed time, meaning that our God is a God of season and uh, time. Where all time comes, nobody can stop you. Amen. Don't envy other people. Yes. It's a God of time and what? Season. That was why Job said, I will wait. My change comes. Don't be in a hurry. Look at somebody say, Don't be in a hurry. Look at somebody say, Don't be in a hurry. Your change is coming. Change is coming. Look at somebody say, Don't envy people. Your own change is coming. change is coming. If you see those who are envy, they are special. They say, Don't leave me out Change is coming. Amen. Don't die because somebody has received the same change. Your own is coming. Don't die because you are sick today. That sickness will not take your life. Amen. Change is what? Coming. I can't hear. Change is what? Coming. I can't hear you. Change is what? Coming. I can't hear you. Change is what? Coming. Change is what? Coming. For those of you saying that, and I prophesy to you. Receive. Do anyone here this morning yes. who has been waiting sincerely uh -huh. receive your change? Amen. This week, receive your change. Amen. This month, 
receive your change. Amen. This year, receive your change. Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 1. Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 1. Oh God, look at it. Look at the scripture. Focus your eye to the water. To everything that's what? I can't hear you now. To everything that is what? To everything that is what? It's not everybody that comes to church has come for change. Look at yourself alone. There are people in church who taught their leaders. They taught their, their, their elect. No, 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 no. Just look at God. He says they are for everything. For every situation, there is a season and a time to every purpose under the your change is coming. I say somebody change is coming. Amen. From today, your season for that change will locate in the name of Jesus. Amen. From today, if your enemy will roll like lion, your own time for change will come. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Somebody hearing me. Oh, so she are not believing. Ah. And the Holy Ghost, I should tell you, you are here. Ah, yes, what will come your way will shock you. Hey. Amen. The God of the commission will shock you. Amen. The God of Pastor Felix will shock amen. you. Amen. If you are saying amen, say that. Amen. Yes. It will shock somebody here. Amen. It will shock somebody here. Amen. It will shock somebody here. Amen. In Psalm 126 from verse 1 to 3. Psalm 126, if you are there, don't waste my time. Psalm 1, 2, 3, 4, verse 1. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Felix, we were he was like in a dream. After today, he will see a miracle be like a dream. Amen. Those of you looking at me, what do you want? Uh, and the devil condemned to the point that they can't believe God again. Uh, The Lord told again the captivity of my family. We were like them that do. Change came. Amen. In verse number two, it says there, there was my mouth filled with laughter. Amen. Who am I talking to? Amen. And my tongue will sing there. Amen. Then I said, they said among the enemies, said to their friends, oh, she loved hey. the Lord. Those that believe that marriage will happen, amen. That wedding will happen, amen. That promotion will happen, amen. That job will happen, amen. That business will happen, amen. That your journey traveling will happen, amen. That your children, whatever they will happen, amen. If you are the one, hey. say louder, louder. Hear me, sir. Yeah. You have been in one spot for a long time. Jesus. You have been waiting for that marriage for a long time. You have been waiting for that pregnancy for a long time. You have been waiting for that journey for a long time. You have been enduring for a long time. Hey. But if your amen will ruin a thunder, hey. from today, huh. I see your change coming. Hey. I see it coming. Hey. Amen. I see it coming. Hey. Receive your change. Receive your miracle. Receive your testimony. Receive your breakthrough. Receive your job. Receive your good news. It is coming. It is coming. Change. Hallelujah. It's coming. Amen. Change. Amen. 
is coming. Amen. Look at somebody tap that person touch and say, change is coming. Change is coming. Tell him cry no more. Cry no more. Weep no more. Weep no more. Don't stay like this no more. Say that I don't more. like the way you are sitting. Like the way you are sitting. You are sitting as a forgotten person. Yeah. You are seen as an abandoned. Talk to him. Talk to him. Say, why are you sitting like this? Why are you sitting like this? Why are you sitting like this? I God has abandoned you. What is wrong with you? Change is coming. Except you die, but you will not die. Amen. You will see this change. Amen. Today's date, write it very well. Yes. You can write it somewhere on the world here. Ah. So that we will not forget. Yes, sir. Whatever you're looking for, ah. I stand here. Yes, sir. I got that message correct. Hey! I got that message clearly. How about the Lord tap me and say, get on. How about the change has come? Hallelujah! And I bring that change to you. Yes, sir. In your business, change. Yes, in your marriage, change. Hey, Amen. Story, then I close. Yeah. Clear story. I read it. I read it from the book. And when the Lord told me change is coming, I remembered. Hear me. I read of a young man. Please pay attention. I read of a young man. He came from a very poor home, just like I was. Very, very poor. He traveled out. He managed, I don't know how he managed according to the book, he traveled over the abroad. God remembered him and God blessed him. One day, uh, he called the parents in Kenya. He says, Kenya. He called the parents in Kenya. He said, Daddy, he said, Mommy, the Lord has remembered me. Hallelujah. I am coming home uh, to train the story of my family. Jesus. I am coming home uh, to build a new house. Hey. I am coming home uh, to buy you a car. Jesus. I am coming home hey. to do this for you. Mommy, God has remembered us. Yes. Don't cry again. Uh, when I come, you will not be selling a car again. When I come, Daddy, uh, that farm, I will grow it. Yes. Kalia Hasa. Uh, yeah. The devil had it. Jesus. The young man entered flight to Kenya. On the process of Kenya, the flight crashed. May you not die before you change. Amen. You don't understand the story I just gave you now. The child was there and made me confronted. Who want to stop your change? When you go say they die your seven dead. Am I talking to somebody here? Later. Am I talking to somebody here? Who wants to block your children? Who wants to block your children? Who wants to stop your children? Who wants to stop your children? Who wants to stop your husband? Who wants to stop your wife? Who wants to stop your wife? Who wants to stop your wife? Who wants to stop Change. Ah. So who want to cut off the change? Jesus. Who want to stop that change? Who remembered you and want to stop him? Holy Ghost. Who remembered you and want to stop the Holy Ghost? Overnight. Oh yes. Angels of death. Fire. We <laughs> confront them. Amen. We kill them. Amen. We kill them. Amen. Say that to me like a video. They don't know how you suffered uh, to train children. Jesus. They don't know how you buried. They don't know the names they called you. They don't know how naked you are. 
they don't know how sometimes there was no pants to wear. You are just covering on with your blouse. There was no underwear because there was no money. You gave the money to your children. You <laughs> suffer for the children. And go suck now. Jesus. 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 The parents never stop crying. Enemy stop their change of the night. Who will ever want to stop their change? Who will ever want to stop their promotion? Jesus. Who will ever want to stop their pregnancy? Jesus. Who will want to stop their marriage? Jesus. They look at you as if they love you. Ha. They look at you as if they, bury and they cherish you. You never know that the enemy wants to kill you. Hey. May the Holy God terminate their hey. life. Hey. to train your child especially when you come from a poor home and then you and your wife join hands together and you did the very thing and the boy maybe he traveled through Libya maybe he went through the desert maybe he went through bus and then he got to America and then God remembered him and said baby mommy change has come the Lord has remembered me. Mm-hmm. Daddy are coming home. Jesus. Mommy are coming home. Jesus. That poverty, Jesus. you will not see it again. Jesus. And suddenly, hey, let me tell you. Father. Where were you on this one? Jesus. Where were you when I was Jesus. suffering? Jesus. Where were you when we were eating? Jesus. Where were you when we were drinking? Jesus. Now, yes. we want to live on the earth. You just came. Holy Ghost. Are you serious? 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 Where were you? Holy Ghost. Where were you? Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. children want to build and somebody came I said it cannot happen hey! you believe you want the money sorry pay rent and God took one of your child and they were waiting for him anywhere they were waiting for a church we are waiting for that person to bring you to your life. He said, I want to kill him. Holy Ghost. I want to kill him. Jesus. The Lord will kill them. Amen. If I hear your image, you will love you to see. Amen. If I hear your image, you will love you to see. Amen. If I hear your image, you will love you to see. Amen. 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 This thing ought not to be so. Akunana. Somebody say Akunana. Hey! Somebody say Akunana. Somebody say Hala Akunana. You may not understand. Say Akunana. <laughs> what does he mean? Hey! He means this thing ought not to be so. Hey! Who am I talking to? Akunana. Who am I talking to? Adabadi. Say what of this thing is supposed to be so. Akunana. Akunana. Supposed to 
First Corinthians two nine. Hey. First Corinthians two nine. First Corinthians two nine. But stand up, But as it is written, I has not seen, neither have ear heard, neither has entered into the ear of a man the things ah. which God. Ah. Has prepared for you. Hallelujah. We are not talking to you. I'm here, sir. We are not talking to you. I'm here, sir. We are not talking to you. I'm here, sir. I'm not hearing you. Who am I talking to? Daddy, I'm here. Don't quit. Yes, sir. Don't quit. Yes, sir. Don't quit. Yes, sir. Change is coming. Amen. Look at somebody say, Don't quit. Don't quit. You're not talking. Say, Don't quit. Say, Don't quit. Don't quit. Say, My sister. My sister. Don't quit. Don't quit. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Look at and say, don't quit. Don't quit. Don't stop serving God. Don't stop serving. Don't let anybody push you away. Don't push you away. Don't quit. Don't quit. La Kupa. You will not die. Hallelujah. I say you will not die. Hallelujah. Your wife will carry pregnancy. Amen. Your children will be in house for you. Amen. Who am I talking to you? I'm here, sir. Anybody? Hey, what is enough for children? Jesus. Anybody? What is enough for children? To stop them from giving you that change. Ah. Holy Ghost! Hey. You don't know where you're coming from. Ah. You pray to marry. Now marriage is coming. They wait for your husband to be on the road. They twist up the heart of the man. Holy Ghost. The Lord will disgrace them. Amen. Can I show you one more scripture? Then you will pray. Stand up, stand up. Look chapter 2. Give me. So that we pray well. Luke chapter 2, verse 25. Quickly. Luke 2, 25. Please follow this. I pray with this. Follow it. Look at the screen. And behold, there was a man in Jerusalem. Ah. <laughs> Whose name was what? Simeon. Help me now. Help me. Help me. Whose name was what? Simeon. And the same man was just. Righteous and devout. Help me. What, what do we say here? Waiting for the consolation. Wait, man, what did he say there? Waiting for the consolation. Waiting, waiting for the consolation. He was waiting for change. Uh, he was waiting for change. Yes, sir. And the Holy Ghost was upon him. Uh, Can you hear? Somebody say, Akuna la. Akuna la. It must not be like that. It must not be like My that. My story must change. My story must change. And then verse 26. Hey. It says something, verse 26. Help me tell them to be quick. And it was revealed unto him, Simon, by Holy Ghost, yes, sir. that he should not see what? Death. You will not see death. Amen. Before you are changed. Hallelujah. He should not see death before he has seen the Lord's Christ. Yes. Hallelujah. You are still the same. You will not die now. Amen. Enemy looking for is a lie. Amen. That change must happen. Amen. Look at verse 27. And he came by the spirit of the temple. Uh, and when the parents brought in the child Jesus to him, to do for him after the custom of the law. Verse 28. Verse 28. Then took him up in his arms and blessed God. And said, look at what happened. And said, look at what happened. Lord, now let us thy servant depart according to thy verse 30. Read it. Your eye will see the change. Amen. Did you hear what I 
change. Amen. He will partake of the change. Hallelujah. Death came. The man said, will not die. Yes, sir. Until I see the Lord Jesus. Yes, I want the Lord Jesus came. They brought you. Yes, they saved my eyes. Yes, sir. 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 I pray for you in the name of Jesus. You will not die before your children. Amen. Your eye will see your children. Hallelujah. You will partake of your children. Amen. You will see your wife. Amen. You will see your children. Amen. You will see your children. Amen. Children. Amen. That is not possible. Hallelujah. You will see the change. Amen. Today, yes, sir. Somebody will see your children. In business, amen. You are trying to your health, amen. You are trying to your children, amen. You are trying to your marriage, amen. Over your life, amen. Somebody, how long against my chest? My chest, lift up your hands, say, Oh Lord, no oh Lord, I need a change. I need a change. Oh Lord, oh Lord, give me my change. Give me my change. I need a 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 change. I Oh God, change my story. Oh Lord, change my level. To oh Lord, change my story. Oh Lord, let my time pass. Oh Lord, let my change pass. Father, I need a change. I need a change by faith. Lord, I need a change by faith. My God, I need a change by faith. My Father, my God. Oh Lord, I need a change. Father, Lord, I need a change. Father, let my change pass. Jesus, let my change pass. Lord, I need a change of story. Oh Lord, change my story. God is change my story. So I must change my story. Oh Lord, in Jesus' name, we see your change. Amen. Open your eyes. Not to put the scripture before I close. And it's in Second Kings, chapter seven. Look at it on the screen. Verse one and two. Second Kings, chapter seven. Look at it. Look. Put your eyes there. Put your eyes there. Then Elisha said, Elisha has gone. Felix is here. Elisha has done what? Are you here? Then Elisha said, Then Felix not the said, By the grace of God, Hear ye the word of the Lord. Possess the Lord. Tomorrow. Somebody said tomorrow. Tomorrow. Am I? Are you here? Yes, sir. I said, Are you here? Yes, sir. Tomorrow. About this time. Who am I talking to here? Hey! Yes, about this time. Amen. Tomorrow. Yes, sir. That situation you are facing yeah. will be gone forever. Amen. About this time. Yes, sir. Somebody said tomorrow. Tomorrow. About this time. About this time. My change. My change. Will come. Will come. Amen. Tomorrow. About this time. Yeah. Shall a major find the sword for king. And two measures of value for shepherd in the gate of Samaria. Yes, sir. But look at verse 2. He said, Then a Lord of whose hand the king leaned answered the man of God. Yeah. There's a voice telling you it's not possible now. There's somebody telling you it cannot work. And say, Behold, if the Lord will make windows in heaven, my destinies be born. There are promises everywhere, even by your side. Somebody is telling you, Don't mind, Pastor. Somebody told me that is how I used to talk. Somebody told you, We are not having today. And the Lord said, and he said, Behold, you will see it with your eyes, but you will not eat of it. You will eat of it. Who is believing? Who am I talking to? Those of you sitting down there, can you tell them to rise up? Stand up there, those of you sitting down. What is wrong with you? What is wrong? Even if your head is challenging you, there is a chain coming. Lift up your hand. Say, Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God.
Jesus. That is why this time tomorrow morning, if I sell it on the tears, I want to hear it. Lift up your hand. Show you that power. Show that power. Please open your mouth. Show you that power. Show you that power. Delay my chain. Delay my chain. Wherever you are. We pray for you. Anywhere you are, be serious now. Yes, Lift up your hand with anger. Say foundational powers. Foundational powers. I cannot hear shouting louder. Foundational powers. From where I came from. From where I came from. I can't hear you say it louder. Foundational power. From where I came from. Say it again. Foundational power. From where I came from. From my father's house. From my father's house. From my mother's house. From my mother's house. Say it loud. Say it loud. Last one. Holy Ghost. I'm going to prophesy to some people over here. Yeah. Wait up your hand. And if you are sick here, yeah, I don't expect you to go with that sickness. Never. Not yes. today. If you are sick here yeah, yeah. and you trolle that sickness, it will be your fault. Because my hand will touch that body yes, and that sickness will disappear. Yeah. I tell you, you're not joking. Lift up your hand. I pray for somebody here. The power that wants you to die. Before you change, Holy Ghost, that power is a liar. Amen. Hear me. Uh, yeah. Since they want you to die, Jesus, today, yeah, I announce their own obituary. Hey, Amen. I announce their own obituary. Amen. Anywhere they are, hey. in your village, I about it where you are living, Holy Ghost, in your house, where you are doing this, Holy Ghost, 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 Holy Lift up your hands. Hey, pray this one. Yes, sir. Very serious. Sir. Okay. So you that power. You that power. I'm being gentle now. <laughs> but when I come now, you you you. you, you, you. So you that power. You that power. So you that power. You that power. So you that power. You that power. Of the enemy. Of the enemy. Inside of me. Inside of me. Rejecting my change. Rejecting my change. You are wicked. 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 Let me tell you, those of you don't know how to pray. You may need change, but there's something that says no. Somebody might tell you, sit down, cannot happen. 
Somebody say Akuna na. It's only this horrible. Yes, sir. It should not be like that. It should not be so. The Lord told me Akuna na, Kaduna na 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 na. Hey, it must not be like that. Yes, sir. Who said that? Uh, I need a change, but somebody is saying no. I need a change. My hands are saying no. Lord, I need a my change. My head is saying no. I need a change. And my spirit is saying yes. I need a change. You need the Lord to go. Ah. My eyes cannot see a fire off. Jesus. That demon will come out of you. Amen. Say you the power. You the power. Inside of inside me. Inside of me. Say you no to my change. Say you no to my change. You are wicked. You are wicked. As I told her. As I told her. in my life as I pour on this morning they are come up by faith power inside of me power inside of me that say no way to me that say no way to me they are come out 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 come out this way power inside of me that say there is no way for me me beat a lot a lot of a lot of they are lot of he shall not be saved it shall not be so. It shall not be so. In the name of Jesus, power that say no way for me. Power that say no way. Jesus, I by faith. Right now we pray. Anywhere you raise up your hand, the power that say you and your family will not see change. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Spirit. Yes. Those on the Spirit, three people. They are power that said. Hey, look at it. I'm here. I'm talking now. Somebody, something is happening right now. Something is happening now, 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 now. That power that say no change, no change, no change. Hey. The one door, number one, number two, number three. Hey. That power that say no change. Jesus. I need that power of your life. What of your life? 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 Yes. One, two, yes, three. Yes. Somebody shout fire. Quiet, quiet, huh? quiet. Three people are sick change now, 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 now. I see change now, now, now. Amen. I'm not talking to those that are lost. I see change now. Lift Amen. up your hands. Amen. Lift up your hands. Three people are sick change. Oh, yes. Now, 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 now. Amen. Holy Spirit. Yes. That automatic change. Amen. That change right now. Amen. That change right now. Amen. That will change them. Amen. Right now. Yes. So three people. Yes. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. It can more than three. Yes. Holy, Ghost. Holy, Ghost. Holy, Ghost. Holy 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 Ghost. Holy
automatic change not change in this year Change. 
Holy Ghost, I need the change. Check it. 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 Holy Ghost, I need the change. Check it.
Jesus, Amen. today, yes, in the name of Jesus, Amen. whatever they are snatched from you, ah. that's supposed to bring the change, Jesus, I recover it back for you. Amen. That opportunity they took, ah. that promotion they took, Jesus. that husband they took, Stop it. that wife they took, Holy Ghost. they give it back for you in the name of Jesus. Amen. That instrument of change, Holy Ghost. that agent of change, Jesus, that God is bringing to you. Ah. I clear the road for them. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 
the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. That my sister there, come, come. That one, you, you, you come. As you come, you lift up your hand. You, I'm talking to you. I don't know how to do your name. Come here, quickly, quickly. Lift up your hand. In the name of Jesus, lift up your hand here. Lift it up. I hear Holy Spirit say that something that you are looking for has been tied down. Ah. Somewhere. You've been looking and praying. That thing is tied down. But in the name of Jesus, I saw God releasing that thing for you. Amen. I'm talking to you now. That thing has been released. Amen. At the count of five. Yes, sir. Now, 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 now. Yes. Now, 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 now. Yes, yes, yes. And Jesus, yes, 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 yes. yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. And you came for all of us. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Because he called the Lord Jesus. Jesus. Oh, yes. Like, come on. Oh, yes. Anything. Oh, yes. That oh, yes. That belongs to you. Oh, yes. That will be tied up. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Up your hands. Lift it up. Uh-huh. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Any area of your life. Holy Ghost. Any area of your life. Jesus. That you need a touch of God. Ah. You need a touch of God. Father. Any area of your life. You need a change of God. Any area of your organ that have been diseased, that have been affliction, right now, in the name of Jesus, I roast that disease by fire in the name of Jesus. Amen. I hear the Lord say today, yes, sir. somebody is crossing over to a new beginning. Hey, Amen. Who am I talking to? I'm here, sir. Who is the person? Jesus. The Lord said today, today, today. Yes, sir. We are crossing over to a new beginning. Amen. 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 If Amen. you are the one, yes, sir. That person I'm talking to hey. is in this place. Kabala Daka. He's here. Kabisa. He's here. Yes, sir. I use that as Kabala Dabala as a point of contact. I want to prophesy. I want to say something. See me at Pobos. Don't let me be a hey. Yes, you are doing it. Jesus, I don't know that Jesus, come here, come here, come here. Come here. Zip it, hey, that's that's a hey, yes, 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 the Lord said today is the beginning of your crossing over. Hallelujah. To a new beginning. Amen. Whether in your profession, oh, yes. whether in your career, oh, yes. whatever. Hey. I use her uh-huh. as a point of contact. Oh, yes, sir. Right now. Yes, Lord. Who is crossing over? Let that receive. Who is crossing over? Yes, I cross over. Who is crossing over? 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 I cross over. Yes, 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 I cross over. Prophecy yeah. by 12 midnight today, yes, sir. 
that you are desire change hey. will appear in the name of Jesus hey. by 3 midnight today yes sir I stand here by grace yes sir I stand here by the prophetic apostolic mantle of my life hey. by 3 midnight today yes sir your desire change uh -huh. shall appear by fire. Amen. They shall appear by fire. Amen. <laughs> There's a family here. People have been talking. They never talk yet. Uh, All of you in that choir, raise up your hand. Uh -huh. Only choir. There's a family there. They have seen a shift, but this one, I cannot comprehend it. I see a drastic shift uh -huh. that will make people to give you people another name. Hey, Sabi there. I don't know the number what they call you before. Jesus. But that name came out of envy. Uh -huh. I'm seeing that drastic change. Jesus. Kabi. One two, uh -huh. one two, uh -huh. one two, uh -huh. one two, Holy Ghost, one two, Sabha Galagas, one two, Vipala 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 one two, three, up and ass. Two, five, look. Ass, look, up, look. One two, some one and ass. One two, three, up 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 and ass. One two, Pardon my time. Yeah. All the brethren. Yes, sir. A change. A change. Change is coming. A change. Change is coming. Amen. Change is coming. Amen. Change is coming. Amen. Change is coming. Amen. I pray for you, sir. Yes, sir. The mountain that followed you here. Jesus. Will not go back with it. Amen. The trouble that followed you here. Yes, sir. Will not go back with it. Amen. The trouble for your husband. No. That trouble has disappeared. Amen. The lack of no marriage. Yeah. The yoke is broken. Amen. Every devil that has closed your door. Jesus. I command that door to open. Amen. If you are the one I'm talking to, lift up your hand. Oh. Somebody, at the count of seven, yes, sir. take your change. Amen. Who are you? I receive. What are you? I receive. Take it. I receive my change. One. I take. Take it. I take. Two. I take. Take it. I take. Three. I take. Take it. I take. Four. I take. Take it. I take. Five. I take. Take it. I take. Six. I take. Take it. I take. Seven. I take. Seven. It is done. Hallelujah. In the name of the Father. Amen. In the Son. Amen. In the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you. Take your seat. Go home. Look at somebody sitting by you. Tell that person before you reach home today, that change will appear. If so, look at somebody, look at if the person is not looking at you, look and say, before you get home now, that change will appear. Look and say, before you come back tomorrow, from your place of work, from your business, that change will follow you. Right, you want to pay your tithe, please move to the front. It's by force, it's compulsory. You must pay your tithe. It's compulsory. We can't run the church with empty hand. 
or can't care for you with empty hand. You don't expect anything from the church with empty hand. In fact, we're going to follow what other churches are doing now. We're going to print card for you. So that when you run to church and say, help me, we'll show you your card. Because it's not a funny anymore. We're not going to pay one million here with begging. At least you won't quota. You cannot, cannot just be doing that. And then you expect us to pay one million here, run five generators, service the place, and when you are in need, they also go to their church. If they're not caring for you, come to our church, you go there. And you are not financially contributing nothing, not even cobble. You only collect thing. No church survives on that. So we're still going to make consultations. If a church like Dunamis, as big as they are, over 30, 20,000 people, everybody has a card. So if you come for problems to solve, they bring your card. A big church like that. And then we are here. We can't pay rent. We can't manage anything. And you're not contributing. It's not going to help. So, the Lord will help us. Father, I pray for our children. Bless them. Honor them. In Jesus' name. Take care, friend.